this week on Busking Battles. You're not the one for me. I said, oh, no. No, 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 no. I said, no, no. You're not the one for me. Hi, I'm Phil Oldershaw and this is Buskin Battles. Thank you to our sponsor, Care for the Millennium, CTTM, who are offering employment and apprenticeships in the UK care sector. Don't forget the winner of Buskin Battles 2019 will win themselves a recording session with Pirate Music Studios, Digbeth, Birmingham, and also a performance contract with Elegant Entertainment. Let's nip into town and see if we can find ourselves two more buskers.
Hi, I'm Phil Oldershaw and here we are in beautiful Solihull for our next heat, our busking battles. We've just seen this fabulous lady perform. Would you like to tell the busking battles viewers your name, Hi. age and where you're from? Hi, I'm Maggie Brina. I'm 22 and I live in Solihull. You live in Solly Hall, but you're sort of visiting at the moment, aren't you? Um, yes, because I, I go to uni in Nottingham, but I also grew up in Botswana, Southern Africa. So I've only really lived in uh, Alton for maybe eight years. Oh, lovely. I wondered where the accent was from. I could pick up, I could pick up a little bit there. So uh, tell us, what brings you out onto the streets of Solly Hall to do some busking on a Sunday afternoon? It's been pretty nice weather, and I've been busking in Solly Hall for maybe five years now, four or five years, but um, it's my first summer back here since being in uni and being away um, a lot of the time so I thought I'd come out and see how much the sort of area has changed and I just love playing music basically so why why not it's a nice way to spend your weekend we were just blown away by your performance how long have you been singing um, I don't know I've basically been singing my whole life probably uh, but it really came along when I started playing guitar obviously because you can sing along to the songs that you're playing which was about um, almost 10 years ago now. Yeah, almost 10 years ago I started. Well, you're fantastic. You're an absolute natural. Do you have a favourite song that you like to perform out in the street? Yeah, well, it's really hard to have one favourite, but a couple are definitely. Um, Put Your Records On by Corinne Bailey Ray is, I don't know, just takes me to another world. I absolutely love that song, and I feel like everyone else really like vibes with it as well. It's really good. Um, and then obviously Valerie is such a great song to get everyone involved. I feel like that's just everyone knows it. You always want to dance along, sing along to it. Um, those are my main two go-to songs for sure. So these are the Buskin Battles viewers. These are the people that are going to be voting for you. Is there anything you'd like to ask them? <laughs> um, like, vote for me, vote for me. Like, uh, yeah, please vote for me. That's, there you go. But yeah, I hope, I hope you just enjoy the music in general. There we are, so I'm Phil Oldershaw, this is Maggie, we're here in Solly Hall. If you want to see Maggie go through to the semi-final, you know what to do, vote for her below and you'll see her go through to the semi-final of Buskin Battles 2019. This is PG, we've just seen him perform live for this week's heat of Buskin Battles. PG, what did you think of that performance? Oh, yeah man, like, um, to be honest, I, I didn't rehearse for it, <laughs> I'm being honest, but like, the thing is I pulled it off in the end, you know what I mean? It's like, just did, my, just did you know, just did my thing and everything like that, you know what I mean? So, um, obviously, and obviously do what I enjoy and all that. Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. It's nice to finally catch up with you because so yeah. many people all over the city have been saying, you've got to see the drummer, PG, <laughs> you've got to see the drummer. So we finally caught up with you. Is this one of your local spots where you hang out? Oh, this is one of them, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, um, I, co I come here because it's like, it's more wider. And obviously I've had like, you know, a bit of noise complaints on and off. So it's like, I say to myself, go to places where it's wider and all that stuff, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, um, it's, a, it's a great spot. It's, it's honestly a great spot. I love it. I'm reading your sign. It says it took you 15 years to get your first drum kit. How long yeah. did it take you to learn to play the drums? Well, I've, been, I've been playing like um, over 15 years, obviously. Uh, it's like I've been playing since like, um, uh, crazy enough, 1995. <laughs> I know it's quite a while away. Um, but like, I've just been like, um, uh, what's called, just like trying to like sneak on, sneak on drum kits. Um, trying to get like employment and all that stuff like that because like um, I suffer from what you call uh, non-epileptic seizures. It mimics epilepsy, oh, yes. so so it's like um, it was hard to like uh, get like a proper full-time stable job uh, to try and like get to like get a drum kit and all that stuff like that over the years. And obviously, you know, the jealousy from other people telling me not to like follow follow my, follow my passion and everything like that. So it's like a mixture of things, you know, that helped me back from trying to like you know uh, get myself a drum kit. So um, so eventually, in the end, I said to myself, you know what, I'm going to get myself. A I'm going to do whatever it takes to get myself a drum kit, even if it means starving myself to death. <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? To, to get like a drum kit. Well, fortunately, you haven't had to do that. Yeah. But uh, so many people have told us to come and see PG perform here. So, what do you love about performing on the street, PG? Uh, yeah, it's, it's like um, I just, I just, I just love it because like um, I can go to, I can go to rehearsal studios. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Obviously, uh, you know, we need to go to rehearsal studios from time to time as musicians. But it's like. Um, um, it's almost like um, a uh, open mic session sort of thing, or open jam session. It's like you know, um, it's like you know, we're shaking off, you know, um, some of the anxiety, like as much anxiety as you can, like you know, coming out on the streets, performing in front of people, and all that stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's like putting it into practice, but or, uh, put, putting uh, not just putting it into practice, but like you know, um, um, just like you know, performing in front of people instead of like behind like four walls inside the studio. 
You know what I mean? Cause like the test is at here. So. Do, do you know what? We've watched you. We've, we've seen you on a few times. I've seen you without when I haven't had the camera crew yeah, with yeah. me. <laughs> and you are one cool dude when you're performing. Yeah, you just get you. in your zone and you're delivering. You don't have to get a crowd around you. Does that inspire you? Oh Yeah, yeah it, it, it does. Yeah, yeah. Because like, uh, I think it's just like, uh, when, when I was younger, um, you know, um, like it was hard. It's hard for people to take interest in me, and like you know, um, I'm a drumming and all that stuff like that. Because like uh, you know, um, the motorbike behind us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like the thing is, um, obviously I mentioned health conditions. It's like you know, but I stuff. I suffered like um, I suffered a stroke when I was two years old, uh, which also like you know added on to like my epilepsy at the time and all that stuff like that. And uh, the thing is, uh, you know, um, my um, my limbs and you know uh, my reaction, uh, you know, on the drum kit, it was really really hard to like you know. Um, Play, play, play the drums. Obviously, I still got my conditions, but it's like I had to, like, you know, um, it's just like fighting through everything and all that stuff like that. But like, but like the inspiration just came from like saying to myself, you know what, I'm just gonna do everything, just gonna do everything I can to progress. And uh, you know, regardless of regardless of like you know um, the support, regardless of the support that I had back then and all that stuff like that. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, it's, it's a mixture of things. Do you know what? We never know why certain things happen, yeah, but yeah. one thing I do know is that by you being out on the street, you are bringing beautiful music Definitely. to the street, and the people of Birmingham, uh, I think, rejoice yeah, over yeah. seeing PG. The yeah, amount yeah. of people that have sent us in his direction, and we keep missing him and missing <laughs> him, and he's, you, you've been like uh, elusive yeah. to us, <laughs> but uh, it's really great to finally catch yeah, yeah. up with you. If you want to see PG, go through to the semi-final semi -final of Busking Battles, then please vote for him below. This is PG, everybody. Anything you want to say to the uh, viewers of Birmingham Updates and Busking Battles? Uh, yeah, well, I just want to say, like, you know, thank you, to every, thank you for everybody for the support. Thank you for, like, you know, um, like, um, you know, um, telling me to come out and, like, you know, um, you know, be a blessing to the streets and all that stuff like that. I really appreciate it, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, man. Wolverhampton boy. <laughs> <laughs> and you are a blessing and yeah. uh, you know I just personally thank you for taking the time and effort to show off your skill <laughs> yeah. to, to the masses in Birmingham so yeah. uh, if you want to see PG go through give them a vote I'm Phil Oldershaw and this is Busking Battles there we have it, two brand new contestants in this week's heat of busking battles. Don't forget the audience are the talent scouts and that makes you the judges too. Don't forget to vote for your favourite below so you can get them through to the semi-final and hopefully through to the final. Do your bit. I'm Phil Oldershaw, this is Busking Battles. Every day is a different day, so you don't know what to expect, and it's a really enjoyable job. There are many benefits to coming to CTTM as a company, um, as well as the fact that you'll get a full-time contract, and we offer contracts from 30 hours to 42. Um, there's also a pension scheme involved, all training is provided by the company. The fact that you work almost in the same home with the same group of people so you have that support from a team solidly every day and also you get to know that service user so you can really make you can really bond with them and really make a difference in that individual's life.